Employment law bills are raising concerns this year for employers. Coming up on AWB Amplified. It's been a rough couple of years for employers in Washington. From a long list of new taxes, 22 new or increased taxes raising $40 billion over a decade, to a seemingly endless public health crisis many businesses have not survived. And now lawmakers are debating multiple employment law bills that are unnecessary, overreaching, and will lead to unintended consequences. First, House Bill 1868 imposes new nurse staffing ratios in all hospitals. This would require hospitals to hire as many as 20,000 nurses and healthcare workers at a cost of $1 billion per year. If passed, this could force some hospitals, especially in the more rural areas, to cut services and patients could face longer wait times. Next, Senate Bill 5891 would have created unnecessary regulations of warehouse operations, specifically around performance metrics and safety meetings. The private sector already has proper safety requirements in place. If the state is allowed to micromanage a company's job tasks, it would severely impact our already fragile supply chain and impact every business in the state. AWB brought together a coalition of employers speaking out against the bill this session. House Bill 1776 would have dictated job wages at what the state calls high hazard facilities. This type of legislation is a foot in the door for the state. The government shouldn't be setting wages for private sector employers. And last, but definitely not least, House Bill 1837 would allow the state to create new regulations based on ergonomics. Washington voters rejected this idea nearly 20 years ago, but it's back, and it would cost employers more than a billion dollars. Again, Washington employers are already subject to strict workplace safety standards. This legislation is meddlesome, expensive, and simply not realistic, especially with the many employers offering virtual work-from-home alternatives. On the bright side, lawmakers are cleaning up financial problems left behind by previous employment law legislation. Senate Bill 5873 is reversing major increases to unemployment insurance taxes paid. Employers will now save roughly $243 million through 2025. And Senate Bill 5649 would add outside guidance and more legislative oversight to the troubled paid family medical leave program, which is running out of money. Those financial fixes are promising, but many of the employment law bills up for debate this year are worrisome. We hope lawmakers will focus on strengthening the economy rather than adopting measures that make it more difficult to operate. These proposals won't help Washington employers grow and compete, and they run counter to the state's goal of doubling the size of our manufacturing sector over the next 10 years. AWB's Employment Law Committee is following these bills closely. To learn more and get involved, contact me at bobb at awb.org.